Good morning everyone and welcome to our free YouTube video of the day today called state of the market trying to see where the market is trying to help everyone giving some tips some clues and my analysis sharing my view on the market so from monday to friday 8 a.m you have a free youtube um, a video for the day and uh, thank you all for uh, watching last couple uh, of sessions and very happy to uh, be with you every single day from monday to friday at 8 a.m don't uh, please don't forget to subscribe um, uh, on the uh, on the free YouTube channel and uh, turn notifications on so you will be always notifi notified once we have a new video for you. So looking into the state of the market right now and starting with the first one, SP500 um, uh, and uh, see where we stand right now. SP500 had last week had a big breakout above 34.20. Okay, 34.20 which was the breakout point here and... Um, we had a nice one, two, three, four days move. After the breakout, we had three days move with a big move on Monday, big explosion move up. And uh, one of the things that I usually tell everyone is on the big move ups, you trim profits and raise your stops. Also, after such one, two, three days move, it's wise to lock the health, the profits and go look into other place, okay? Because on the big moves, the market can pull back. It was exactly what happened. That's the first, second, second uh, um, flag here on why we should have stopped exactly where we should. Because we stopped right at the resistance point, okay? So on September, we break down and start the big correction. We break down a reference point between 35.30 all the way into 35.40. Okay, that was the support. And we break down. The basics on the technical analysis say that once we break down a support, it becomes a resistance. So when we break out last week going into the, this week, I put immediately uh, my resistance point on the breakdown area. It should act as resistance and it acts as resistance. On Monday, we hit resistance and we started the pullback on Tuesday, Wednesday and um, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. So uh, exactly as we saw on the upside, it, it happened exactly the same thing for the downside. We had day one, two, three. On day three, you trimmed the profits. So we had one, two, three days up, one, two, three days down. And um, you were able to play from last week, one, two, three days up with the long stream profits on day three, reverse back for a fading and uh, uh, one, two, three days down. As simple as that, okay? It's not simple. It's very easy, very hard to, to, to trade. But uh, if you have some reference points, it can help you a lot. Um, uh, yesterday, I had some reference points for the SP500 futures. I had uh, the 8-day moving average to break below. Below that, I was looking for a possible retest at $34.20 area. It was the 320 uh, points area. It was the breakout point. So $34.20, it was the breakout point. I was looking looking for a retest on the break, uh, breakout point. It didn't happen um, uh, and we hit the low at 34.31. So right now where we stand, the bulls got active. So they push price back above the 8 and 21 day moving average. One of the things that I always like to do is look for the trends and the trends what we saw. Uh, we saw a bull cross last week uh, giving nice upside here above all the key moving average. The trends and slopes are pointing up and the price is still above all the key moving average. So bulls got active yesterday. The big question is now what? Now you look for to see if the bulls are able to go back into 3500. Above 3500 we have the big wall um, and the big breakout point 3541. But we can have some pain here, some consolidation before triggering one trade one way or the other. So bear case needs below 3462. That's the AT moving average. Needs below, but I will only be extremely bearish below 3420 and 3416. That's 21 day moving average. That's only below 
okay let's put here the reference for you only below this line i will be bearish for a pullback down and uh, uh, the, uh, the the second correction uh, that we can have but once again we need to see it bull case needs above 35.41 and that can trigger a big move to try to take out new all-time highs above 35.87 that's what we need to see right now some consolidation here painful game so be very careful not get getting caught on this range nasdaq exactly the same thing big explosion last week on friday from breakout above 11600 breakout and uh, on the big moves you take profits is exactly what they should one two three days pull back and stop the exactly at the eight day moving average so what's next if we break below 11 800 we have 11 600 when i'll be bearish same thing i'll be extremely bearish on the market if nasdaq goes below 11 600 why that's below 21 day moving average and also uh, it's the breakout point should act as support if we break below i will be extremely bearish bull case needs above these weak highs above 12 249 so right now is a patience game waiting for what the hell is going to happen next one of the biggest names that i saw outperforming yesterday was small caps small caps had a, a big beautiful retest on the breakout so we have 159 158 as big big uh, resistance here and here it act as resistance and we break out last week we break out above the resistance printing higher highs so on the pullback you look for a retest on the breakout area and we held it perfectly yesterday 158.8 recovered the eight day moving average 160 dollars and bam move up so what's next for the bull case we need to hold 158 okay 158.8 we need to hold otherwise if we go below that bad things can happen and we can go back into 152 153 that's the next big level ahead in my opinion uh bull case needs above 164.2 we still have a gap to fill at 166 so that can be a target if we go above 164.2 we can go and fill the gap at 166 now we have some more names uh, to uh, to look into the market apple for example apple started the week with a big move um on monday one of the things that i usually like to say and i say everyone i don't trade events i don't trade earnings holding the stock or options into earnings because binary events anything can happen options can go to zero and the stock can uh, go one way or the other so um i didn't have any position here on on the event but yesterday i was looking to buy the pullback for a possible gap filling at 107 106.8 it was 21 day moving average i was looking to buy there but pulls show up and they didn't let price go into 117 and push price from 118 recovering 1198 day moving average so that's very very bullish right now we have a bullish gap here something very similar to what we have here a bullish gap that never get filled and even on the pullback the gap didn't get filled so we can have some similar action here at 117 gap bullish gap now what now we need price to see if it goes above 1 to 1.2 1 it can resume back into 1 to 4 1 to 5 that will be a bull case scenario for the market in my opinion very bullish if we go above 1 to 5.4 we have 1 to 7 1 to 8 as reference point when i'll become bearish i'll become bearish on the stock if the stock break down below 116.8 that's below the 8 day moving average that means that price break had a false breakout here and can hold over back into 103 105 the next reference point but we need to see it from the yesterday action we know that the bulls show up and uh, um defended the lows okay uh just to give you an app on the risk management and following up the analysis yesterday on baidu uh just to give you an app and the reason why the hell i lock my profits on the big updates and uh, close the positions and lock the profits and move the money into other place especially because of this so on wednesday we had a big explosion please review the video from yesterday and uh, f uh, the video from um, uh, wednesday also wednesday 8 a.m first name 
uh, on the stock that I mentioned by the looking for a break above 129. We had a big breakout gone all the way into 138. Uh, it was a big explosion. I locked five dollars per share here profit and it was the wise thing to do and people were looking for more upside and what we had yesterday bang down four percent and from um, 138 the stock loads at 130 dollars so negative eight dollars if you are holding the bag or held or having the position here on these kind of moves you don't have positions okay you trim you buy low and sell high not other, other uh, way around okay so you don't head on the eyes and sell on the lows okay so that's a losing game so be careful here uh, manage your risk wisely the key for success, be a, a, a consistent trader and very successful is to manage your risk. You the, on the big moves, you trim, you trim profits. I close too soon, close for five dollars profit. It gone for eleven dollars profit at the eye of the day but you cannot predict the future i kept my five dollars profit and i was very happy because if i was holding into yesterday what i had i had two dollars two three dollars profit here at yesterday close so i kept five dollars i was very very happy so that's just to give an ups on the big moves ups you trim your profits okay so um, uh, thank you all for uh, watching and um, it's it has been a a great pleasure to be with you at 8 a.m. every single day from Monday to uh, th uh, Friday. Please uh, give a, give me a like if you like this video. Give me a like. I would like to also to hear from you. Leave your comments uh, below on the video. Uh, ideas, uh, doubts, questions for next possible videos. Uh, leave your comments and I will do my best to help everyone. Okay. So thank you all for watching. Wish you all great trading. And one of the most important things of all, be happy trading. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye.